Seeing, yeah, uh, check it, yeah. Look, heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavyweight. Heavyweight, this the heavy. Hey y'all, hi. It's officially step daddy season. Yeah, what up? I got the car seat in the back. Let's go to the park. <laughs> Don't let your baby mama or your baby daddy block your blessings. I know in theory it sounds good keeping the same person to have kids with, but that's insanity as well. So if it doesn't work out with them, it'll work out with someone else, okay? It just will, that's how that goes. And trust me, I know it's ghetto. <laughs> it is so ghetto being a baby mama and thinking about multiple baby daddies is scary, but mm, you my baby gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. So we're moving forward, onward, and upward. Okay, I know a lot of you are skeptical about talking to people with children, but I can assure you the baby mamas now, today, we don't give a damn. You can have them. I have exited the rat race. I am not a threat. I want you to be around for a long time, not a good time. You can hold my son, put him on your story. I trust his judgment. I really do. I really, really do. I just want you guys to be happy. I swear I do. Now, I'm not a threat. But, you know, I can't speak for the other, 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 other hoes that you don't know about. You know, maybe the odds ever be in your favor. <laughs> but I am here for it, okay? Like, people move on. Save the, you should have got the ring first. It wasn't going to work out anyways. It just wasn't going to work out. Let's laugh together and let's raise this baby, you know? <laughs> oh it is ghetto it's so fucking ghetto <laughs> um in conclusion stepdaddy season big aura big lumber big follow through need only apply <laughs> yo 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 what up youtube welcome to sin take man my name is jay sin coming back with another one man and in that clip right you got britney renner Pretty much in there just talking shit, talking about stepdad season and all that shit. If you don't know who Brittany Renner is, she is a uh, Instagram model slash thought slash jump off slash all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But she the one that got NBA player uh, PJ Washington jammed up. And when I say jammed up, meaning that they were in a relationship and now that relationship is over but they have a baby together and you know he pretty much getting uh taken to the bank you know allegedly paying uh 200,000 a month in child support you know and it's apparent that she set him up you know we could sit here and blame PJ yeah you know young kid should have been more careful you know especially with her past dating history and all of that but What's done is done, you know? What's done is done. I'm sure it's gonna be a learning experience for him, but uh, this pretty much a video making fun of her situation, his situation. You know, she knows that she got the bag. She know that she got, you know, PJ Washington for 18 years and, you know, she played him. She played him. She got what she wants. She got the kid, you know, she happy. So, in there she is, I would say she taunting him. You know, she playing herself, you know, talking about stepdad season, but this is the thing. This is the thing. That bra is crazy. She be crazy, listen, that, she ain't crazy. Well, she probably is crazy, but other motherfuckers, anybody that would associate with her or even like, even even on a sex tip, if it's just somebody that you just hooking up with, they crazy. They crazy. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't put my Johnson anywhere near her, seeing that what she's capable of. What she's capable of and even her history. You know what I mean? But there's always somebody out here that's gonna take that chance. That's going to take that chance, knowing her dating history, knowing what she put.
putting this dude through, knowing that she's a jump off, knowing that she all about money. So it's just crazy. She come on, she, 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 she make this video and post it on her IG talking about stepdad season. It's stepdaddy season. Yeah, you know, and he could hold her baby and do this and do that. You know, talking about, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Don't, you know, to step, you know, to stepdads or not nah, to, to baby daddies and baby mamas. You know what I mean? Trying to empower them and, and all that other bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. You don't care about that. You don't care about that. That's just you trolling and talking shit. Making fun of the situation. You mad because people saying free PJ and all of that. And again, like I said, you know, this is an experience for PJ, I'm sure. You know, he's having to learn the hard way. You know, he thought it was something, but it wasn't nothing, but the damage is done. She talking about let's just laugh about this and raise the kid. Yeah, that's easy for you to say when you digging in this man's pockets who ain't made it past his rookie contract yet. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's funny, but I want y'all to just notice how, how fucking crazy it is. You got, a, you got tons of women that think exactly like her. She's on IG. I'm pretty sure she got a lot of women that follow her and think that it's funny. They think that it's cool with everything that she's doing, you know? So you got you to gotta think before you make these decisions, guys. You got to think before you make these decisions. You got to get control of your, 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 your energy. Be controlling your sexual energy and all of that shit, man. Because if you're not careful with these broads, you could end up in these situations. She's making fun of the situation. She's making fun of the situations and you got tons of women out here that think exactly like her, that think it's funny. She laughing about it. She think it's funny. You know, she think it's funny to use her child as a pawn in life. She don't care about that kid. She don't care about that kid. If she cared about the, if she cared about the kid, she would be busy raising that kid and wouldn't be on IG saying some ignorant shit talking about stepdad season. If I grew up, right, and I seen that my mom made a video like that, I'd be disgusted. I'd be disgusted. Like, damn, what is she doing? You know what I mean? What's, why can't you just be raising me and, you know what I mean, just coexisting with my dad and, you know what I mean? Y'all raising me together and all that other. She ain't on that. She trying to she trying to bring another man into her life already. She want to be in a Sierra situation to where just like how, you know, Sierra had the baby with Future, but the baby is more a part of Russell Wilson's life than the baby is a part of Future's life. So, you know, you got Future... You got Future on the sidelines doing his thing, but you got Russell Wilson, the stepdad, that's taking the kid to the games. That got, you know, got the got the kid wearing Future son, got Future son wearing, you know, Russell the, the 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 his jersey and shit like that. Sam Wilson on the back, you know what I mean? That's what she want to do to P.J. Washington. That's exactly what she trying to do to P.J. Washington. She trying to crush him. Her goal is to crush him. Her goal ain't to just get along and raise our kid. Bullshit. That's bullshit. She know it's bullshit. That's why she laughing so much in that video. She's the devil. That bitch is evil. Look at her. It's something demonic about her energy. And I want y'all to pay attention to that while you out here. Why y'all out here dipping and dabbing in this one and all of that, especially when y'all get successful, you got to be careful. It's so many stories of these demonic women using their bodies and using their vaginas to control men's mind. So that energy is possessing men. Possessing like demons. Like zombies. They're using their body to possess men. They want to possess you so you are not who you are. And, and it's a lot of men that fall under that spell. 
they fall into that spell. They fall right in it, right in it. Because guess what? They never had any training. They never had any control. So guess what? Without that control, they just going to fall for anything. They just going to be hypnotized by the ass, the titties, the sex, the looks. It's going to get them. This message that Brittany Renner sent isn't attractive to any man. This message that she's sending shouldn't be attractive to any man. Any real man that's out there, this video, that clip, it's nothing attractive about it. It's nothing cute about it. No, don't look at it like, ah, oh, she just trolling. No, nah, no, this bitch is serious. She think it's funny because it is funny to her. It's funny to her. It's funny keeping that man's kid away from him. But him having to pay a shit ton of fucking child support, but he can't even get custody of the kid and see the kid. It's funny seeing him break down on Twitter, just saying he want to see he just want to see his son. It's funny to her. It's funny. She think it's funny. She like she said, it's stepdad season, meaning out with you and then in with someone new. Out with you and with someone new. She wants to humiliate him. A lot of women is out here. Y'all think it's cool and sweet right now. But guess what? Something happened to where y'all part ways. She is going to try to discredit you and break you down and humiliate you. She wants to crush you. That's what women do. Women want to prove that they are the better half. That the kid is with the rightful person. That they don't need the father. She's not thinking about that baby. Look at her. Look at her. When you see her on Instagram, she working out with her girls. She in the car by herself. Talking about it's a baby seat. Look at the baby seat. Where the baby at? With your mom? She not raising that baby. That baby was just a pawn, so guess what? Moving forward, that baby will continue to be treated as such. That baby will never feel real love. The only time that baby will feel real love is when that baby is with her father, whose intentions was pure going into that relationship, not hers. Her, 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 her intentions wasn't pure. She just seen a dollar sign. She just seen a young, naive NBA player. That she can get and take advantage of. And that's what she's doing. He didn't go into that. He thought it was he thought it was all love. He thought it was sweet. But it ain't. Guess what? That baby will find out down the line. Who really loved him. Because it sure as hell ain't Britney. Britney gonna pass her off to whoever that could watch her. While she do her thing. Her mom's gonna watch that baby a lot. She could afford a nanny now. That nanny's going to watch that baby. Because all that baby is, is a new purse. All that baby is, is 200 stacks. All that baby is, is a pawn on her chessboard. All that baby is going to be used for, is to make him miserable. And even then, you can tell, and you can look at P.J. Washington, and, and you can tell that he is going to go through whatever. He's willing to go through whatever just so he can love and take care of his child. Her, I don't see it. Completely different story. She not here for that. And I want y'all to understand, these women, they not here for that. They put up a good, they put up a really good front. A really good front. So I want y'all that plan on being successful. You don't even have to be successful for this to happen. And this, this is happening in the hood every day. These women don't want to work. They don't want to work. They don't want to go out there and get their own education. They don't want to go out there and get their own bag. And of course, I'm not talking about all women. But it's a lot of women in the hood. That see stuff like this and they think that that's the way to go. So who they going to look for? They going to look for the neighborhood drug dealer. 
And if they can't get that, they just gonna look for a man with a job. Yeah, you got a job that's good enough. However, they could get in anybody's pockets to where they could get a check. Yeah, that's a hustle now. That's been a hustle for years. That's been a hustle for a while. This isn't anything new. What I'm telling you isn't anything new. But I want y'all to look at that clip again of Brittany Renner. And you ask yourself, does she seem like she's a fit parent? Does she seem like she's going to be a great mom? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There will be no love for that kid coming from her. It's going to all come from, his, from, from that kid's dad. It's all going to be love from P.J. Washington. Genuine. Her love won't be genuine. But I want y'all, I wanted y'all to see that video so you know what it is that you fucking with outside. So you know what it is that you fucking with when you out here messing with these females. You got to see the signs. Y'all just chasing after the ass and titties. Y'all not getting to know these women like you should. And guess what? You add not having any control on top of that. You are a walking fucking target. I want y'all to learn from this. Learn from this broad. She putting it out there for y'all to see. For y'all to see how a good majority of these women are out here thinking now. They all think like her. And like I said, a good majority of the women, especially the young ones, they thinking like her. They see her. They see her Instagram. They see her followers. They see her comments. They see her looking good, living good. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with. So be safe before you end up like P.J. Washington. Who just want to be a father to his son. Her, that kid just another pawn. And that's my word, man. My name is Jay Sin and Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So, as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get.